One Step Closer Christian Life. Hi everybody and welcome to One Step Closer and today we have a guest and his name is Woodley Cherry and Brother Woodley will be teaching us how to do an oil change. I am really excited about this and I pray that you're blessed with this video as well. So bro, I have a question for you. Okay. What equipments do we need for this oil change? Well first you will need a wrench tool. Um, you can use any size wrench that would fit to uh, release the nuts that would release the mortar oil. You also would need a funnel. We have a, a couple of funnels here. Uh, we have a long funnel, which you don't need a, a long funnel like this one, but you would need just something shorter so that you can be able to uh, have a way for the oil, mortar oil, to re be released into the basin, which is this huge oily mercury basin here to catch the oil and it's going to be a uh, a nice tool for you to actually catch the oil so it won't release all over the floor and you will also need a jack of course I'm not describing this all in order but just showing you what we need the jack will be able to lift up the car just enough so you can be able to go underneath the vehicle and you should have this in your own vehicle. All cars come with uh, these uh, jack uh, lifters. If not, then you can go to your local auto store and buy the jack. You also would need, of course, more oil. Okay, we're gonna put new oil into new filters. Matthew 9 verse 17 says, new wine, new bottles. So we're going to put new oils into new filters. You also will need a filter and your, your auto store can actually direct you to what filters you need and what motor oil you will need as well. Just given the make, year, and model of your vehicle and they will be able to help you. You also would need for safe, safety precautions some gloves. Uh, yes this will be a messy job. You can have a medium, large, small gloves, whatever gloves fits for you. And you will also need some gargles. I don't have any gargles here, but if you have anything to protect your eyes, just in case, or something like this plastic uh, shield head cover would be fine as well. So, and also you will need a board to be placed underneath the vehicle. A board such as this, it doesn't have to be fancy. If you don't have a board, you can use a blanket and a blanket that you don't need. Of course, you don't want to use a nice brand new blanket and mess it up and have oil all over it and have a bad day. So, that's it. All I can think of right now. You have any more questions? All right. Another question is, okay. as Christians, why do you think it's important for us to learn practical things such as oil, oil change or we're moving along or anything practical? That is a good question. The reason why is because we want to be able to focus our minds on Christ, um, on the scriptures that is given to us. Uh, we just read here uh, earlier today on Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Uh, it talks about in our conversations. Uh, when we do our practical things, sometimes we often get so focused on what we're doing and we don't have that conversation that Christ would desire to have his angels dwell with us. For example, an oil change what we're doing is we're taking old oil mm. out of old filters. Mm. But we just read in Matthew chapter 9 verse 17, and when we put old wine into old bottles, what happens to the bottle? Breaks. Nice. So by just using that scripture, we learn a practical lesson that we are to put new wine mm. into new bottles. We're going to put new oil, motor oil, into new filter. Mm. So. This is the lesson that we uh, should dwell upon in our day-to-day -day labor. Even Christ, when he was working in the carpentry shop, mm. he would focus on the scripture. So it helps us mm. to minister to others as well. Amen, amen. Well, thank you. Let's get started. Amen. All right, <laughs> let's go. So there's another additional item that you would need that I failed to mention, which would be a lamp or some type of lighting or even a flashlight would work. Uh, reminded at Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says 
that you are the light of the world, and a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And, um, and light is much important, especially during the, the night. So make sure you have some lighting tools, such as this one, and you can actually buy this from your auto parts store or uh, Home Depot will have lighting or flashlight. So what you want to do after you um, unlock the hood is that you want to be able to find out where your oil tape or, or your oil line where you check the oil. You want to find out where it's located and usually that will give you an indication as you follow the oil line tape and it follows right beside the engine and your oil filter should be located either beside the engine or underneath the engine here and some of the ways that you can find out where the oil filter is located is by the color it's usually color coded different colors this oil filter is actually an orange color and I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but it's located right there where my finger is pointing. And that is the old oil filter that we are going to remove to place a new oil filter. So this is one of the ways you can be able to know where the oil filter is located so you can position yourself when after you bring up the car with the car jack and you put, place your cardboard underneath the vehicle and to position yourself right underneath the oil filter. This is where your basin will be located. So once you use your wrench to uh, unscrew or twist open the oil filter, the oil will drain and drain right into the basin. And after it's drained right into the basin, then you could be able to allow it to drain until it's finished draining. And then you can place your new oil filter right on and add your new oil as well. That is my phone so I'm going to get it right now but I hope you be able to watch further on as we work on this vehicle and changing the oil. And do you put it on the tire or where do you... Ah. Safety goes. Mm -hmm. So you want to put it, you're going to feel your hands right here, it's like a nice groove there. Mm -hmm. So you're going to place it, the groove right in the middle of, of the cart. Right. Yes, to hold on to this, make sure it's nice and positioned, and you want to start it off first, from here. Mm -hmm. okay. So how do I know when to stop? Usually it's when either this tire is at least a half an inch off the ground. Well, or if you can actually place your head underneath. If you feel like you can place your head because your whole body needs to go underneath the car. Oh, so as soon as I can fit, then right. it would be good. Right. Okay. So right now, um, we might just a little bit more, and I think we could be able to get in there. So this is another tool that we didn't mention earlier in the video. It's called a swivel handle. This tool will be used to remove the oil filter, which is this in my left hand, and. We will place this around the oil filter and we'll give it a nice turn to be able to release the oil filter. So first of all, see if you can try to uh, untwist it with your hands. Because if it's easy to untwist it with your hands, then you won't need to. You could just twist it open. Okay. But if not, then I will have to give you another sort of how to use it. Okay. Alright, let me get some lighting for you.
So because of man, this thing is really tight in there. Yeah. So there's oil in this filter, and it's also you don't have much oil coming out. So that lets me know that it wasn't. It, it was time. Yeah, you didn't have a lot of oil in the tank. So whatever you, all you put yesterday. Yeah. Or the day before. Yeah, yesterday night. Yesterday night. Yeah, it was just enough to give you home. Home. Wow, mercy. Yeah, it's it's hard to twist open. <laughs> There's some oil that's dripping on the side. You want to take the rag and just clean off that area and some that's on the tube. Okay. You're gonna put some oil inside the oil filter. Okay. Wow, so this is what I pay, like, because usually when I go to oil changes, I pay like $35, $30. Is this what I pay for? Yeah. This is Mercy. It. And this is just, it's just this. Once, once you know how to do it, it's just so easy. It's so simple. Um, wow, especially if you know your car, huh? And that's just one visit. I mean, like, that you do that money, you can just save it. Mm -hmm. At $35, you can be in your pocket. Yeah, you do it, so. Exactly. This is awesome. Alright, so you cleaned it off already? Okay. So I'm gonna put some oil right in. On top of that or on top of this one? Yeah, you're gonna put some oil in here, the opening here. You're gonna place it. Use this as your guide so it won't drip over. So you'll pull the filter in and then you're gonna drain the oil. Okay. Pour the oil inside the oil. How much oil do we put in here? You just, in you're gonna filter? watch it, it'll let you know. Because yes. some filters are, like this filter is small. Uh -huh. some, some filters are large, much larger. So you want to put it as much until it, it reach at least three four for the way. It might be better if you change gloves, so it'll be easier for you to twist it back on. To the right? Mm hmm. You're going to the right. Okay. Yeah. Make it you want it tight, but you don't want it too tight to the point you can't open. It's important to check to see if there's any oil in any oil, oil in the, the oil tank underneath the engine. So yeah, you could release the old oil before putting new oil. New oil, new filter. New wine, new bottles.